How about the fear of rejection? You know, Jesus told his disciples in Luke 10, whenever you go into a town and they don't receive and accept and welcome you, go out into the streets and say, even the dust of your town that clings to our feet, we are wiping off. I do a little teaching called Shake It Off. You know, he told them, when you go out and you start doing my will, you are going to be rejected by some people. You are going to be rejected. And what happens to a lot of people is let's just say maybe they hang out with this group of friends and they're all just going nowhere and they're just living lousy lives and doing all kinds of wrong things. And so one person decides that they want to get their life straightened out and they come into a relationship with Jesus. Well, if you, if you take a stand for your new life, the first thing that's going to happen is all of your old friends are not going to want anything to do with you anymore. Well, that's painful because right then that's all you know. That's your life. You feel like you've made one good choice and now everything wrong is happening to you. You know, sometimes we have the idea, well, if, you know, if, I, if I'm going to make a decision to serve God, then everything in my life should be, should be turning out good now. Well, it will, but it's not going to happen overnight. Think about this. How long did it take you to get into the messes that you're in? <laughs> So surely we can give God equal time that we gave to the enemy in serving him. Don't feel like that everything is going to change overnight. You're going to have to let God work with you and refuse to ever give up.